Greetings, viewers, and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be covering the data export feature within Search Trend Revolution. Now, as the name implies, the data export feature allows you to export information from various SQL tables within your Evolution database. Let's see exactly how this process unfolds. Now, before we begin exporting data, we need to look at a couple of export defaults. So under Data Export Maintenance, I'm going to go to my Export Defaults. And in there, we've got three file settings that we can use to export information. These include an XML format, Excel format or limited format. And if you are going to be using the limited format, you can specify a delimiter to be used in your export file. We also have details about the date format that you can select, as well as specifying a date separator. Very importantly, we can specify a file location. So this is the location or the folder where the export file is going to be sent to upon exporting. And then we have details about the template header display settings. We have two options here. These include the use column name as the header caption and the use table and column name as header caption. Now, just to differentiate between the two options, when we export the file, this process or this feature will become clearer. The use column name as header caption simply means is that when the file is exported, you would have the columns from that particular SQL file displaying as they would appear with an SQL database. If you're using the table name and column name, columns will be called or named with the table name, dot, and then the column name, which really makes it easier to determine exactly from which table that information was exported. We then have an email settings option where we can send an email after exporting and also specify an email account to send to which I'll come to a bit later. Under export settings, we have the ability to append the date to the export file name. So very useful, perhaps if you're exporting information regularly from a certain table and you do have the date of the export append to the file name, you can determine quite quickly or easily um, the most recent file exported from that particular table. So just back to email settings, notice we don't have an email account set up there. So I'm going to go and say, okay, for the time being, and under maintenance, we have the email account setup. So under my email accounts, I can then go add an email account, specify email account name, and the relevant details of your SMTP settings. Once you specify those details, we have a test option here, which just uh, it acts as a test to determine that uh, your email program, there's com communication between your email program and your Evolution database. And just confirming that the SMTP details specified here are in fact correctly set up. Right, so you set up your email account then, and I then go back to my maintenance under the export defaults, um, select the option to email after export, and then from the drop down, specify an email account to send it to. Right, so I'm going to, we've got our layouts, we specify the export settings, and I can complete the default setup. Next option would be to go create an export template. So under maintenance, I'm going to go to export templates and add a new template. And at this particular point, we're going to specify from which SQL table we're going to be exporting data. So for example, I may want to export details about my custom records. So I'm going to give a description. So I can say, for example, the file name. And then very importantly, I can specify the table or the view from which I'm going to be exporting details. So on the drop-down, 
got the whole range of SQL tables that form part of the database. And I know that the customer information is stored in the client table. So I'm going to find the client table from the list of files. But there we have it. And I can then once again specify to append the date to the export file name. I can specify to perhaps export the file into a subfolder. If I were going to be sending an email, I could send the, specify the details here about to whom the email would be sent to. And very important is that if you are using the contact management module, you have the ability to go create an incident after the export. So I can tick that option. I can then specify incident type and then assign this particular incident to an agent. In this case, the administrator. And then if need be, I can also attach the export file to the incident. We then have three record export settings. These include export all records, export modified records only, or export new records only. So I'm going to say export all records. And what you see on the right hand side is the list of all the columns that form part of the client table within the database. So it's really a case of specifying which columns do I want to form part of my export file. So say for example, the account number, and I'm just gonna go down, for example, see what information I intend to export. Um, let's just say, for example, we want to see maybe the contact person, the credit limit, on the customer's account, um, their balance, email address, the customer, and um, to say, for example, the name, maybe some details about the physical address, um, telephone number, and maybe the rep that's linked to the account. And as you can see, as I'm specifying those columns, it's numbering them in a sequence. So really you can go and specify um, different sequences, which column sequence you want to appear first, et cetera, on your export file. So I've specified the columns to be included on the export file, and I've got my details, and I complete the export setup or the template for my export. Now I'm going to go to my data export transactions, export data, and I've got my export file waiting to be exported. And I can simply select the option and say export now. Right, I've got a notification that one template has been exported. And I'm now going to go and to the location where the export file has been sent to. And if I go there, you'll see that there's my location. I've got details about the file name, customer master file, and also I've appended the date of the export to the file. So if you recall under our defaults, we specify the option to append the date to the export file. And I'm going to open the file to determine which information has been exported. And there we have it. So I've got the relevant columns and the information that I've exported. And we then have those details there. Now, if we recall, um, if I revert back to my defaults, and we're just going to look at the option to use column name as header caption or use table and column name as header caption. So I specified use table and column name. And if I revert back to my export file, you see that each column has now got a prefix of the SQL table name. In this case, client dot column name, uh, et cetera. And each column has now includes the actual SQL table name from where the information has been exported. So really very useful if you want to 
check which file or which table the information was input from, just include the use table name and column name option under your defaults. And there we have our details exported from within your evolution database. I revert back to my evolution database and we mentioned that we want to create an incident after the export. They're going to, therefore going to go to my desktop and expand that, go to my incidents. And there we have our incidents. I've got my reference number for the incident, document exported, and I'm just going to open up the incident. Tells me that the incident has been allocated to the administrator agent. I've got details about the location where the export file has been sent to, etc. And you'll see that as requested or as specified under my defaults, I requested that the export file be attached to the incident and I can then view the details or the inf or export information from the incident. So as you can see, the data export feature really is a very useful way to quickly and easily export information from any table within your evolution database and have access or export or access or have access to the export information. So really it's a case of under your data export, firstly going to your maintenance defaults, specifying the file format, date format, the location to where the export file is going to be sent to, and details about either choose column name as the header caption or column and table name. And once that's been done, it's really a case of going to the creating your export template, which is a case of specifying um, description for the file name, the table from which you'd want to export the information, um, if necessary, create an incident. And once it's specified, specify the columns from which you'd want to export or export information from the table. Now, really, I've got an existing template here, so it's really a case of I could perhaps maybe add additional columns if I needed to um, and really go and modify the template and export additional information if required. So really, the data export, a quick and easy way to export information from your SQL tables with the new evolution database. That's a wrap from me. Thank you so much for watching. It's over and out and goodbye.